Hello everyone, this is Jim James. This is a video entitled Intro to Short Stacking, Why Play a Small Stack. The purpose of this video is to um, discuss why short st stacking is such a great way to learn poker, to dispel myths about short stacking, and to provide you with the information you need um, in order to help you make up your mind whether short stacking is a good option for you. The merits of short stacking. Short stacking offers you a simplified decision making process. Since stacks are shallower, effective stacks are. Um, generally your decision pre-flop and on the flop are fairly cut and dried. Um, there's not as many complicated decisions as you face um, when you play a bigger stack. Um, when you play a short stack, you also have less money on the table at any given time. Um, so the effects of losing um, a full stack um, is lessened when you're only playing about a third as much. And that leads us to um, the third item, which is it makes you a lot more cooler proof when you play a short stack. In other words, if you have kings that runs into aces a couple times at a session, you're going to lose somewhere around 60 big blinds instead of 200 big blinds. Um, this is a good point to make about short stacking in that, sure, um, you're also not going to have the ability to get all your money in and cooler someone else. But since Everybody picks up the same amount of aces versus kings, kings versus aces. Um, the sum of the net sum over the long term of those coolers is zero. So why not have a lower short term variance against those type of coolers? And that's what short stacking does. Um, you aren't allowed to get in with the nuts, obviously as often but at the same time your nut hands will be more likely to get paid off because you have less money behind that looks less quote unquote scary to your opponents um, so you're really not losing all that much value just think about your biggest pots that you play in a session um, not many of them are going to be over 30 big blinds anyways um, so the fact that it's a lot less risky um, make short stacking an attractive option for you. Another good thing about short stacking is you can potentially play a higher hands per hour. Um, if you're going for supernova lead or doing some other challenge where you're trying to play a lot of hands, um, then short stacking, whether it be cat games or just standard short stacking, um, is a good way to increase your hands per hour and potentially your hourly rate as a result. Um, the short stacking strategy that I that is outlined in my book can easily be adapted to 20 big blind games, 30 big blind games, or even 40 big blind games. Now let's go over a few of the myths of short stacking. First of all, I would say that anybody that doesn't know anything about short stacking, even a lot of poker pros think that short stacking is mostly about just three bet shoving pre flop. And it's true, the lower your stack gets, say, 20 big blinds and less, there is a lot of rebet shoving pre-flop. Especially when you're on a table full of um, regulars or um, tags, lags, players that have a pretty good strategy and aren't just complete fish. Um, most of your action will be pre-flop in those cases. But if your table's selecting well, um, you do have a lot of room for post-flop play even with 20 big blinds but especially with the stack that I um, espouse people use and that's starting with a 30 big blind stack. Um, some people even think that short stacking is cheating. And actually short stacking is just a microcosm of deep stack play. Um, short stackers raise, they fold, they call, they pay exactly the same blinds as everybody else. Um, so it's impossible as long as you're playing within the rules of the the terms of service of a poker site. Um, it, it's impossible to say that somebody's cheating because they're not violating any rules. If they were violating rules, then obviously the poker site would speak up. 
or the software would not allow them to play a short stack. As long as the short stacking is allowed, um, there's no reason anybody should think it's cheating. Just because a full stack player is frustrated by short stackers and is too lazy to figure out how to adjust and beat them, um, doesn't mean that it's cheating. A lot of people also think that short stacking relies on nothing but preflop shoving charts. And you can find these charts, they're available, and my book actually does provide some charts, but really this information, anybody can find it out by looking at Cardrunner's EV, um, the SSS short stacking software. Um, it's basically just all mathematically based, just like full stack three betting is mathematically based, preflop shoving for a short stack is mathematically based. You just seek to um, three bet a range that is either for value and going to get called by worse, or as a bluff, which doesn't have enough equity up against um, the calling range, but combined with fold equity makes the play profitable. It's just simple poker math. And it, I would say that short stacking, I mean, a lot of my sessions are an hour long, and I might shovel in five, six times sometimes. Sometimes more, sometimes I'll shove in two times in an hour, and um, there's a lot more to be, there's a lot more involved in short stacking than just looking for places to shove all in. It is a very small pro part of the profits that a short stacker will enjoy. Um, this is a big one. Short stacking takes no skill. There could be nothing further from the truth. It takes sometimes, in a lot of areas of poker, it takes more skill to play a short stack than it does a big stack. Um, stack sizes are constantly varying for a short stack. You'll be 10 big blinds one minute, 40 big blinds the next, 30 big blinds the next, rather than reloading constantly like a 100 big blind stack player. It's easy. If you're mostly playing 100, 90, 100, 110 big blind stacks, there's not much difference between those stacks. Um, so it's very easy to come up with a strategy and stick to it at that stack level. But if you're playing a 40 big blind stack and then a 15 big blind stack, that's a huge difference. That's over twice as big of a stack. And it takes quite a bit of skill to effectively um, play those two effective stacks. And in summary, um, by short stacking, um, your typical full stack player will um, shed a lot of leaks um, that your average player has. Um, and this is all done by using sound fundamentals in a less complicated playing environment. Um, that pretty much is self-explanatory. We already discussed a little bit about that. Short stacking is a great way to learn the game no matter what style of play you eventually want to transition to. Whether you want to move on to tournaments, sit and goes, full stack cash games, if you've got a solid mathematical and fundamental background that's built around short stacking it is very easy to transition to other forms of poker because then basically you're just adding on um, different skills to your game you'll have to learn about ICM if you're doing tournaments or sit and goes you'll have to learn about three betting and four betting smaller if you move to a full stack um, but that's about it Short stacking simplifies everything. Um, there's less inherent risk. You're able to play with a much smaller bankroll instead of needing your typical three thousand dollars to play a hundred and L. Generally, you can play a hundred and L at twelve hundred dollars because you're only putting thirty dollars on the table. So you really need about a third of the bankroll. And that's something that can't be under um, that should not be. Um, cannot be overstated nowadays, especially after Black Friday for US players. Um, there's a lot to be said for not having that much money online and um, if you're able to only have five thousand dollars to play mid stakes versus your typical fifteen or twenty thousand if you're playing a full stack, um, that mitigates your risk quite a bit because you're able to cash out everything on top of that five thousand every month. And if you did happen to lose your online earnings if the Department of Justice comes in tomorrow and takes it, um, you're only losing 5000 versus 15000 and everybody could use that extra 10000 in their pocket, I'm sure. 
Um, short stacking is easy to learn. Um, you can my book basically gives you everything you need to get started. Um, as with anything else, I imagine you know poker is evolving. Um, I'm evolving. Short stacking is evolving. So my book um, may eventually become obsolete, but um, it's unlikely that it'll be ever become completely obsolete in that fundamentals are fundamentals and uh, basic poker strategy is basic poker strategy and that's what my book basically is all about um, and fundamentals really change very slowly over time playing in position playing with initiative playing with pressure those are things that are always going to be around in poker and always going to be important for a poker player and my book is basically built completely around those fundamentals so if you're looking to um, start playing um, a strategy in poker rather than just sitting down recreationally if you want to learn how to win money at poker or if you're already a break-even or winning player and just want to kind of rebuild your game from scratch the automatic poker is a very good option for you so go to my website automaticpoker.com um, you can find out all you need to know about my book. You can check out my YouTube channel, all my other videos. Um, you can email me at jim at automaticpoker.com. Join the forum. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Um, pick up my book. It's only it's just it's $7.95 uh, for the ebook. Um, if you want to pick that up on my website, there's a link there as well. I hope you enjoyed this. I look forward to your comments. Subscribe if you want to get future videos. Um, I appreciate you watching, and everybody have a good day.